So we don't even get six seconds into the video before I spot something incredibly dangerous, and that is bringing their hamster stuff in outside into the forest. This is just too small for a hamster. They kind of actually missed out on doing a lot of enrichment type of things, like they just give Stefan a dish of food when they could have been scatter feeding, just has a stick, a house, and some moss. That's quite boring in my opinion for a hamster. So I've been asked to once again check out the Savilki Show's newest episode of their hamster aerarium. And I'm a little bit scared. The title is Intrusion of a Stranger into Hamster Aurarium. So I don't know. Well, I can kind of guess what's about to happen. So uh, let's get watching. You've probably already forgotten about our fellows. Okay, <laughs> literally two seconds in. This setup really hasn't changed that much from when I first reacted to their video. But what is that wheel? <laughs> It looks like a homemade wheel and it appears that they've put mesh. Like if you're making a homemade wheel, you can literally make the wheel any way you want it to be. Therefore, you could make it a solid material that's safe to run on. But no, they opted for the wire, the wire mesh. Okay. Stefan in his turn continued living his life without knowing what awaited him very soon. One morning, a friend of mine brought his pet and asked me to look after him for about two weeks while he was away. Uh, if... I don't believe this. I'm sorry. I don't believe this at all. A channel who literally will not listen to any feedback that people leave in the comments. You sh if you go and read the comments on their videos, you'll see so many people offering them very kind and great hamster care tips, tricks, and they do none of them. They like literally do nothing to improve what they're doing. Um, so I don't believe that their friend gave them a hamster to look after because if you, if I brought my hamster to be pet sit while I'm going on vacation, would I drop my hamster off in a box? Where's the cage? Wh where's the cage? We heard some rattling around in the box and finally when we opened it, and the, the cat. Creature. Always the cat. It was a hamster, and it seemed to be the same kind. And there's literally hamster. nothing in the box but shavings. Don't be afraid, Lou. They didn't. They, no, they don't have a friend. They don't have a friend. They didn't drop this hamster off to be looked after. Can guarantee you, they went to the pet store, bought this hamster, to do a video on. At that moment, we thought the same thing <laughs> as you. What if what? we introduce him to Stefan? No, that's not like, I didn't even think that. I didn't even think, you know, what would happen? Because I already know what would happen. Hamsters are solitary creatures in captivity. And even in the wild, they're actually found to be pretty solitary even then. So no, I did not think, you know, what would happen? Because what would happen is just likely going to end not great. Sounds great, but once I came across information that hamsters are solitary animals, so they, they very did rarely can get along with other relatives. Cons they did research? That, that, is, that's shocking. Stefan, Stefan can easily hurt him, although this guy seems brave enough, and it Alright, so they've, they've realized that their research, they've, they, they know hamsters are solitary and they rarely get along together. They've also pointed out that Stefan, their current hamster, is way bigger than this hamster. So it's, a, you know, usually the bigger animal can more easily hurt the smaller animal. Before introducing him to Stefan, we decided to... Because they're still going to introduce him to Stefan, even though they know those two things. ...feed him a little, so he would gain strength. That's not how that works. That's literally not how that works. If I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go fight somebody, I'm g but I'm going to have to go take a protein shake so that I get that strength. Like, that's not, no, you don't just like eat food and then you're like, yeah, I have strength now. Like, no, no. We prepared this arena. An we arena? Be better to construct the first Why would you call it an arena? arena? So that it literally that makes it sound like they want him to fight him. Would end the arena with such transparent glass to prevent the 
because you know you, the hamster could just go around the the glass but all right from attacking each other out of fear new fellow opposite here comes the fun part at first they didn't pay any attention to each I other i hate this i hate this i hate this i don't know why I mean, I do know why they just are doing this for views, but I just, if you really cared about your pet, you just wouldn't put them in that type of risk of getting injured. But then they realize that they can What did I say? What did I say before? Um, so this is their first contact. Oh, I hate uh, It's like. Perhaps Stefan wanted to launch. I don't know if you guys have ever watched videos of hamsters uh, fighting each other, but if they end up fighting, they literally grab onto each other like a ball and trying to split that apart is super hard and you could end up really injuring yourselves because hamster bites are not like, they're a big deal sometimes. A hamster can bite really hard if they want to and if you were trying to separate two hamsters, like you're going to end up getting injured. And the hamsters are gonna get end up getting injured. It's just like here comes Cookie, and the two little balls realize that their dad is in what? the building. Like this so is they like insane. They have so there's like so much wrong right now. There's we we've got the cat just walking around. It doesn't matter if that cat has no prey drive. It literally doesn't matter. Like you still cannot communicate with an animal, so you don't know. One day, if a cat just, like, that cat just was like, hmm, well, today's the day I'm going to just attack a hamster, or go after it, you know? They're an animal. You can only trust them so much because we cannot communicate with them. And then also the two hamsters being, like, it's just, like, this is, this is chaos right here for me. At the first sight, the hamsters seem to be friends. But let's remember. I hate how they're like, well, they seem to be friends. Like, what... So they're friends because they're just sitting beside each other or how like th if that classifies friends and I'm friends with a whole I'm friends with a stranger in the grocery store because I can stand next to them. And that's like that doesn't that this does not make him friends. So we let the two fighters in while Adolf runs the around two the two fighters. I swear they life. want them to fight. I swear they do. And they are so freaking lucky that these hamsters haven't fought with each other yet and you may be wondering well victoria if hamsters are sol so solitary why aren't these hamsters fighting it did putting two hamsters together doesn't necessarily mean they are going to fight but it also doesn't mean that they want to live with each other and are social animals and sometimes there are many factors where a hamster just they may not fight right away and it also sometimes can literally take anything like i mentioned before if one hamster takes the other one's food and all of a sudden it's like that's the last straw and they get into a fight hamsters are also nocturnal slash crepuscular animals so you're not going to be around or you're going to be sleeping if a fight really ends up breaking up and uh, you're not going to be there to stop them Therefore, leading to a really injured hamster or even a dead hamster. And he is the owner. I still am just imagining the amount of uh, fungus and bacteria that is growing in that enclosure. Because they do have, you can see the sprouts in the enclosure. They have to be watering those. It has to be semi-moist for those to even be growing. Um, I've grown my own sprouts from hamster seed mixes before and i've watched the ground it gets pretty fungusy like in there um and it has to be pretty moist for the seeds to actually end up growing and i can like only imagine the funguses and the bad bacteria is growing in there just because it has to be wet in there i don't know why but adolf is running after stefan i think he feels guilty for kicking Stefan. i don't know why but adolf is running at like Probably because they're two animals that have literally never met before um, and your maybe five minute introduction is definitely not enough. Like for, they literally don't know each other. They are two strange hamsters. Like, what? I don't know what you. Adolf was holding onto Stefan with his claws 
and lying beside him in an unconscious state. I don't, I genuinely don't know what is happening with that or what that would, I don't, I don't, I don't know at this point. Hard for me to say what happened, but luckily after 30 seconds, he felt better and got back on his feet. However, incidents like this didn't happen again. And I think this might be the rare case when hamsters become friends. <laughs> what a joke! What a good joke! So now, after 10 minutes of being with each other, they definitely are never ever gonna fight and they can live with each other successfully. We're never gonna have any issues. Um, they are extremely lucky if they don't end up with one hamster dead. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm also reading the comments and a lot of people are pointing out that Stefan could potentially be a Stephanie, which is maybe why Adolf did that weird behavior and actually grabbed onto Stefan. Um, uh, <laughs> that's gonna be really interesting. I, if that, yeah, there's gonna be a, I can get, also, not to mention the amount of comments of people being like, hey, we had uh, two dwarf hamsters together, uh, and yeah, one chewed the other's head off. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Hamsters should be alone in the enclosure. Like, it's, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. If you want multiples of an animal, go ahead, get multiple cats. Cats are pretty social animals. Dogs are social animals. Rabbits are social animals. Mice are social animals. Rats, social animals. So that is enough of that. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.